If you think the used car market is tough now, get ready for a frustrating couple of years. Industry experts are already warning dealerships that the next two years will be a nightmare when it comes to finding quality used vehicles to certify. The culprit? A toxic mix of lingering after effects from the pandemic, microchip shortages, and a severe drought of off-lease vehicles is about to choke supply chains even further. While certified pre-owned vehicle sales may have bounced back slightly back in 2023, don't be fooled. This uptick is nothing more than a temporary blip in an otherwise bleak landscape. Now, according to J.D. Power, the outlook for 2024 and beyond is, quote, grim. Inventory scarcity is set to hammer dealerships as fewer off-lease vehicles return to the market. A direct result, they say, of the collapse in leasing three years ago. Dealerships should brace themselves for a brutal struggle to retain whatever off-lease inventory they can scrape together. As Ben Bartosh from J.D. Power bluntly put it, quote, what is coming off-lease should not be quickly overlooked, end quote. A grim reminder that dealers are left scavenging for inventory amidst a shrinking pool. Dealerships are already scrambling to patch up this inventory crisis with alternative methods. In a move that reeks of desperation, automakers like Toyota have resorted to expanding their CPO programs, listen to this, to include vehicles up to 10 years old with 125,000 miles. You heard me right. Dealers are now being asked to slap certifications on decade-old cars with sky-high mileage, vehicles that would have been laughed off the lot just a few years ago. It's an attempt to keep the illusion of a healthy, certified, pre-owned market alive. But who's buying that? Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, along comes the recalls. Vehicles with open recalls are automatically ineligible for certification, meaning fewer cars are available to sell, even as demand remains high. According to Brett Kikson of Toyota, this is leading to a dwindling inventory that makes the already tight market even tighter. It's a perfect storm of shrinking supply and overwhelming demand, and it's only going to get worse. The forecast for 2024 is dire. J.D. Power predicts 2.7 million certified used vehicles will be sold. That's what they say, but that number could easily be derailed by the inventory crunch and lackluster support from automakers. Even industry insiders admit that meeting that target will require, quote, an aggressive push by dealers, an effort that feels like a losing battle. As Jim Farkas from Preferred Auto Dealerships ominously noted, dealerships are staring down another 18 months of low late model used car supply. That's nearly two years of frustration, missed sales, and disappointed customers. Dealers and buyers alike are facing a tough reality. Certified used vehicles are becoming harder to find, and automakers are doing very little to help alleviate that pain. Whether it's expanding certification to older, higher mileage vehicles, or praying for a break in recall nightmares, the market is limping toward an uncertain future. And for consumers, prepare for higher prices, fewer options, and a frustrating buying experience. On that note, here's something positive. Now might be the time for a used Tesla Model 3. Listen to me for a second. Prices for this popular EV have dropped 22.5% between 2023 and 2024, bringing the average price down from 37.5 to 29 grand. So if you've been eyeing a Model 3 or any other budget-friendly used car, this market is finally showing signs of cooling. That said, prices are still higher than they were pre-pandemic, though iccars.com reports a 4.7% drop in used car prices over the last year with a 30% increase in sub $20,000 cars. While affordability hasn't fully returned to 2019 levels, used cars are still 40% higher on average. The trend is shifting in favor of buyers. In fact, 16.5% of the used car market is now under $20,000, up from 12.7% in 2023. And it's not just Tesla seeing these drops. The Jeep Grand Cherokee fell 9.2%, while the Ram 1500 saw an 8.2% decline. Plus, mileage on used vehicles is dropping, with the Hyundai Tucson and Honda CRV showing significant reductions. Still, the market isn't fully recovered. Post-pandemic demand sent prices skyrocketing, and even though things are stabilizing, we're still far from 2019 affordability. With falling interest rates and inventory stabilizing, buyers who've been waiting might find this the time to act. 
although further price drops remain a possibility. With more and more people visiting quotes.everymandriver.com, maybe you should too see the lowest prices being advertised in your area from qualified dealerships. Make model and zip code to find yours right now, new or used. If you don't find what you're looking for in your zip code, that's okay. Expand that zip code. Be willing to travel a little bit outside your area. You could save a few hundred, possibly a few thousand dollars on a new or used vehicle of your choice by visiting quotes.everymandriver.com. There's also a direct link below this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with the latest insights from the automotive world. Hope to see you next time. Today's video is brought to you by The Cold Plunge. Use discount code DAVE150 at checkout at thecoldplunge.com. Immediately save $150 off your purchase. That's DAVE150 at thecoldplunge.com. There's also a link below this video.